Hi guys, welcome to reporting a care stream CVCT scan and CS imaging for our CVCT course. Firstly, to open the scan, you need to access the file on your computer using Windows Explorer. This should be Windows 9 or 10. Once you access the file, you can pick the specific patient scan file from the media uh, with which it's on your computer. And when you open this up, um, there will be a setup file. Look for the care stream and um, setup file and um, simple browser and click this. This should open the software where you'll be given the choice to either install the viewing software or to open a volume. Generally I open a volume but if you involve, if you uh, open the viewing software it will give you the opportunity to have the viewing software on your computer which may run faster. This will then open up the classic care stream uh, reporting window in CS Imaging which sometimes takes a few minutes as the scans are quite large. And the window will open immediately onto a tab in the top left called orthogonal slicing which is the equivalent to MPR. The MPR slicing tab will give you the opportunity to look through in the truest possible nature and to establish um, an understanding of the SES scan system which is a tab based system. So in order to move the images around you tab, uh, you, you, you lift tabs um, which I'll show you in a second. You can also increase the thickness of the images which is a very very good functionality of this. The tabs on the top part of the screen will show you different possible viewing options. The tools are on the left part of the screen. Top aspect uh, involves brightness um, and various aspects. Middle involves measuring aspects and the lower is to do with exporting and printing. You can play with that and have a look. But firstly we'll look at orthogonal tabs. Uh, in the orthogonal tab um, you can see if I drag the top of any of the coloured tabs it will move the scan appropriately depending upon which um, section I'm in. The lower right in this area will move us through the um, MPR scan and I can then extend the, um, uh, the views to have a larger screen and two smaller screens on the right. You'll see as I go anteriorly in the MPR it becomes more difficult to view although the fracture lines in this scan are very clear. Um, I can move back and forwards through the orthogonal part of the scan which is effectively MPR um, giving me different coronal views. I can increase and decrease the thickness of the scan in CareStream. This is really useful to get different layers and a different appreciation of what is going on, particularly in cases like this. This is not available in many other scan platforms. I can go from 76 microns all the way up to 10 millimeters and get different levels of thickness, which is really helpful and really useful. I can provide measurements using the ruler, as in most scans. Uh, just double click here and it will give me the measurements and go over to the delete button on the right side beside the measurement if I want to get rid of the measurement from the screen. Same with angles can be exactly the same. Measure the angle and delete it if I'm finished with the angle. I can also plot inferior dental canals using the icon on the left in the lower scan. I have different views and, and much more functionality than other platforms in this. Um, we can change the overall um, NPR view with the tabs. Although this is a very small field of view, we do get some NPR. We can change the cross-sectional view on big screen. And we can also change how many screens we have in a different viewing format to give us a classic CT scan view of sequential scans. Um, and there are multiple options for this. This is a 9x9 nine nine view, um, which is extremely useful because it shows me sequentially through the fractured teeth in this scan. And this is how scans were historically presented on film. Close that box back down now. We'll just look at the scan and, and, uh, and more completely in NPR and make sure we can see the sinuses, the floor of the nose, and the areas of NPR, which is useful. Second screen is a curved scan. I'm able to set my own curve here, which is different to some scan providers. And so I would just delete the existing scan as you saw there when I clicked the icon, and then I will set my own arch, and you'll see the scan becoming built there single individual clicks along the arch and then a double click at the end will finish it and then I can move the arch around um, by grabbing it and um, left click and pushing it to where I want. This gives me much more custom viewing than I have in many other scan formats. This is the cross-sectional view now. I can look at this in multiple different views um, as I did in the previous scan to give me a, a feel of how things are progressing across through the scan. 
you can see how useful that is in this case with the fracture so I can look at the individual tooth in different thicknesses and I can change the thickness even in these and the thickness between the slices um, to give me um, lots of different viewing options. This will take some practice and take some time to work with but it definitely is worth it because the software here is very helpful. This is me tabbing through again the incisors in the upper anterior region and the panoramic view. Remember the measurements in this view are slightly less accurate than the measurements in an NPR or orthogonal view because it's not a true slice. I can also change the angulation of the scan. There is a second tab on some of the uh, uh, slice lines which allows me to change the orientation of the scan. That is very useful, particularly in upper anterior regions like this. Um, and you've just seen me doing that in the video. As far as the thicknesses are concerned, um, you'll see a different um, orientation of thicknesses here. Um, the white line which surrounds the arch here will get bigger and smaller as I change some of the thicknesses in the scans. Um, I will also pass um, upwards through the teeth at different angles. See the white line disappear as I now change the thickness white line increases slightly, change the thickness again, white line gets wider to show you and give you an interpretation of how wide the slice is for the top right hand box there. I can also move the arch out of the way here to get a better view um, in these situations um, so that I can pass through vertically. You can see the different views I have in the panoramic view and here's an example of thickening and how it changes the view overall to get a better appreciation of the scan. To look through these fractured teeth vertically, I can take the slice to the thinnest level and tab up and down. I can then move the red arch line out of the way, which will change the boxes on the right, but not the box I'm looking at. And so uninterrupted and unheeded, I can look through to see that fracture in the upper central incisor become clearly visible. Diagnostically, it's absolutely fantastic. When I'm finished, I can move the red slice line back into the same position again. These are other custom methods of um, slicing the scan to look at various different aspects and you can play with those um, and have a look to see which are suitable for you in the individual cases. There's also a reporting tab in the top right. Very, very functional um, software. This it has lots of different applications for diagnostics and the quality of the scans in this system are extremely good. Settings tabs in the top right hand side. Um, Otherwise, um, we're done.